Hello financial investors and welcome to the channel. My name is Brent and in today's video we are going to be doing our stock market weekly recap for the 14th through the 18th of September 2020. We're already halfway through the month. It's pretty exciting and has been going by really quickly. In this video we're going to go ahead and quickly take a look at the U.S. weekly jobless reports. We're going to go ahead and cover the four main indexes and see how that job report affected the markets this week. Then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the entire S&P 500 performance for this week. What stocks were up, what stocks were down, what sectors were strong, what sectors were weak. Then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the oil, dollar, silver, gold, bond, the 10 year rate and wrapping it up by taking a look at the current mortgage rates. I like to do these on a weekly basis. That way I can kind of keep tabs on what exactly is happening within the market. You know, why did the market do what it did? And in this case, I believe the weekly job report had a main factor out there. You know, everything is a bit sluggish and has been going on pretty crazy, not only with natural disasters going on everywhere on the West Coast and East Coast, but just politically what is going on at the moment. So with that said, if you are brand new to my channel, have not yet subscribed, definitely go down below, hit the red button to subscribe to the channel, make it gray, go up above, hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video. And of course, hit the thumbs up, making it blue. And let's go ahead and get into the video. So really quickly, let's take a look at the jobless claims that were reported here on Thursday. So overall, everything came in actually lower than expected. But the main driving factor for this week is that unemployment growth is very sluggish. You know, a lot of employers are either not hiring or they're still continuing to lay people off. I believe there were some banks that came out this week that are laying off employees. There's some airlines that are also laying off some employees. So the first time claims for unemployment insurance totaled 80, uh, 860,000 this past week. That is down from 893 the weekend pr or the week prior, but you know, it still continues to fall by a good amount. Now, the thing that I think, you know, obviously is affecting the markets right now is the growth that these jobs are coming back. Unemployment, employment itself, is still very sluggish. I know in our business at work, we're still hiring individuals, but it's a lot less because there's so many individuals that are having to work from home. Our hiring process has definitely slowed down. I know that other businesses that maybe are not offering you know the best hours at the moment just because of what is going on or maybe they just don't want to work because they're still earning a decent unemployment plus there's i believe they're still getting the little check as well on the side so that's definitely a factor there as well up at the top it does look like trump says that he has recently approved the tiktok oracle deal and concept so that's kind of an interesting thing on sunday they were supposed to be banning the download of tiktok i you know Everyone doesn't believe it. It's not going to happen. It's just all political thing right now. So that's the madness there. So how did the jobless report and the sluggish employment actually affect the market? So everything was actually going pretty positive on Monday and Tuesday. Monday, we had a huge upside here of 1.27%. On Tuesday, another point. Uh, 0.52%. And then we essentially lost it all and continued down as of Friday. So overall here, you can see that the sluggish employment actually affected the markets pretty hard here on Thursday. Once those numbers came out saying that we're just not producing jobs as fast as we really need to for these individuals, you know, sure, there's a lot less people filing unemployment, but they're just either not going out there and getting a job because no one is hiring or the jobs just are not being made at that rate. So here the market is down 0.64% for the week. Same thing here happening after the job report came out Thursday. Market trended down. The Dow Jones is down just 0.03, essentially flat on the week. The NASDAQ here, the tech heavy NASDAQ is down 0.56%. I'm actually a bit surprised there. It is not down more just because I've seen Apple and Tesla fall down so much, but that's just those two specific ones. And then we have the only positive index here, the Russell 2000, up by 2.64%. So that is really interesting. That's kind of showcasing some of the 
you know, it's still being positive for these small mid cap businesses. We just had such a growth jump here on Monday that regardless of what took place on Thursday and Friday, it just wasn't enough to hurt that market. So it's really nice there with that index. Now overall, here we could take a look at what stocks were pretty much affected this week. And if you own the FANG stocks right now or the index, the index is heavily weighted towards these FANG stocks. So Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, they weigh quite a bit. I believe it's it's either nearly 25 to 30 percent of that index. But you can see that every other sector out there is fairly green outside of the consumer defense. So here's all your FANG stocks up here in the bright red. They're pretty, pretty down to the negative. And then if you look at all the other sectors here, healthcare, semiconductors, financials, medical devices, energy, industrials, telecom, and so on, it's pretty mixed green. But because these bank stocks have such a big influence in the indexes themselves, that's why the market was red. It doesn't matter that the majority of the stocks within these indexes were green. It's because these five individual stocks were red that it took down the rest of the market so much. So it's really interesting. Another interesting thing here is consumer defensive. So maybe investors are actually taking a look. They have been invested pretty heavy, maybe within some Pepsi, some Coca-Cola, Walmart, Procter & Gamble, Costco. And maybe they're deciding to take a look at financials, take a look at healthcare and real estate and some other areas in the market that had been beat up here in the short term and maybe they were invested in some of these tech companies they took profits on those here in the short term and they're moving capital into these other sectors of the market that has a lot more upside potential versus downside risk from just being highly elevated at this time let me know down in the comment section below what are you currently doing with your portfolio are you averaging down on the thank stocks are you buying more of the tech companies or are you maybe taking profits and moving into the less uh, less picked up sectors of the market. I'd really like to hear your thoughts down below. Oil this week picked it up very nicely. Seven day, or five day change, 7.47%. The dollar is trending lower. So the market did go down a little bit, but the dollar continued to actually move down as well. So it did start the week here at 93.23. It moved down 23 cents here to land at 93 there. For the close, silver and gold this week. So silver is at $24.93. It is positive by 0.12%. And gold this week, 183, positive by 0.4%. Gold is definitely winning as far as, you know, gold and silver are definitely winning in comparison to the main indexes. The S&P being just up 2.75. The Dow Jones being negative by 3.09. The NASDAQ still up by 20.29% and the Russell 2000 is down by 7.89. So the silver and gold indexes are definitely, or these ETFs are definitely doing really, really well. Bonds here are down for the week by 0.08. You're to date positive by 5.34%. The 10 year bond rate is at 0.69%. I'm not sure what it was last week. I actually had forgotten. I didn't record it on my Facebook page. I did record this week's already up on my Facebook page and share it on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I try and post these every week unless I'm doing something a little bit crazy. And then our current mortgage rates did fall by two basis points. That's really good if you're looking to buy a home or refinance the current points here or the current average rate is at 3.09 but I have been getting quotes of 2.25 to 2.75 I'm not able to lock into my rate at this moment I am going through the process of buying a home it's getting built I won't be able to close until anywhere from December to March of 2021 oh the home will be finished in either the end of December of 2020 but I don't know if I will be able to move it and fully get into it until February, March. I think there'll still be some stuff. And I didn't make a video this week on Wednesday because I did move cash into my Fidelity account. 
and I do need a little bit more of a down payment on my home. I am going to have to pay with some closing costs. There's other fees associated with buying another home. So I did have to withdraw capital in order to have more of a cushion available for me for my savings and a down payment on my home. That way I am able to get into this next home. And then once I do have my other home and I'm able to be fully moved into that one, I'll be able to sell off my current one and have that equity available in order to invest elsewhere. So here are the market changes for the 14th and the 18th. As we just discussed, all the main indexes were down besides the Russell 2000. Silver and gold were positive, whereas bonds were negative. The 10-year rate is at 0.69 and mortgage rates remain pretty low at 3.09%. So that is essentially all that we're going to be covering in today's video. I didn't post a whole lot this week. I think I'll go ahead and share this article out as well. So jobless, jobless claims for this past week. I do need to share a little bit more information, but I've had to have a lot of information being signed out, paperwork being done, and it's been a bit of a hectic past couple of weeks with fires, smoke outside. I can't go outside without seeing ash in the air, so we haven't been able to really leave our house in the past two weeks. And I know our kids are definitely getting a little bit tired of that. So that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know how you guys are doing. How are you guys doing physically, mentally? How are you guys doing your portfolios in the market? You know, I'd really be interested in hearing all of you guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. If you guys are brand new to my channel, have not yet subscribed, go down below, hit the red button to subscribe, make it gray, hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video. And of course, hit the thumbs up to make it blue. And thank you for for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video and thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.